All right, here's a crew cab I just bought. Uh, I'm going to change a lot of things during this video, and I've got a week in it so far. So, enjoy the video. Uh, all that interior right there, I took it all out and got rid of it. It was all cobble fested. But uh, the frame's actually bent on this truck. Monday, September 25th. I have already cleaned the interior out and we spent a lot of time on that because somebody thought it was a good idea to spray a bunch of this. I don't know, it's like a rubberized paint on the floorboard and it was flaking off and we blew it all out and cleaned it really good. My wife and kids were helping me clean it and so it doesn't look the greatest but it looks better than it did. The interior isn't too bad. But I plan on changing this whole truck eventually. I just want to get the thing running and driving for right now. Now this thing has been in a wreck before because the front frame rails are bent to the passenger side. They're like pointing towards the passenger side. Nothing would ever line up on this truck again. So I cut that front end there out of a, a old crew cab that I used to drive. It'll show here in a second. I bought that yellow truck um, for $700 and drove it for like two or three years and we parted it out. It was getting pretty bad. But uh, yeah, that's the front end out of that. And then uh, here's the bed I took off this Monday morning. It's not too bad. It's not the greatest, but it'll work for now. Here I got the cab off. Uh, everything's ready to be cut here. I'm going to change the rear end to a Ford 9 inch. There I got the frame cut. We did some quick videoing here just because I didn't want to spend a lot of time videoing. I had a lot to do in a short time and we didn't have time to mess with the video stuff. But there's the old front end. Voila, it's cut and fit and ready to be welded here. And we did it in between... Uh, the rivets on the cab mount there and then I'll diamond plate the inside and I have good luck cutting frames and welding them back together my drag truck was a long bed and I shortened that truck the short fuse trucks been shortened and I haven't had any issues with that I've done like three other ones they seem to hold up pretty good most people would probably not want to do it, but I don't really give a shit. Got to do what you got to do to have something. There's the old suspension out of the yellow one ton. I switched it all to half ton. That's actually the suspension out of my drag truck there. That's got brand new uh, rubber hoses, upper and lower ball joints, all the steering's new. Uh, got drop spindles on it which I have to change because this truck's sitting way too low now and then I've changed that brake booster the steering's manual steering it's got all new brake lines front and back ran a new fuel line to the back so all that's new there thinking about using that tank came out of an Impala And then uh, this is where I got the engine set in place and the tranny. I uh, put a different tranny in. Dad's letting me borrow his tranny. It's a 
got a really good shift kit in it and a 2800 stall he let me use and that's the engine out of my brown truck that I dailied and I'm gonna put those fender exit headers on it and then the core support came out of my old brown truck bumper I've changed the column uh, There literally isn't a thing I haven't touched on this yet. It looks a little cruddy, but I'll paint it later on. It'll look good. I just want to get it running and driving. Then I made those brake lines for the master cylinder. I put a straight column in it, not because I really wanted to, but I knew this one was good, and I'm having my other column work done right now.